Welcome back everybody and welcome to a beautiful 54 degree day in Wisconsin. Pretty unusual for February. I bought these two boxes off a online auction on eBay and I figured we could go through and see what we got. One of the interesting things I see is uh, this person had all sorts of these flyers in here as void fill and I'm wondering if this person does not have like an independent tool truck and maybe the items I bought from him are items that he traded in. No ideas. Uh, maybe maybe so, maybe not. But uh, let's start looking at what we have. Well, let me say one more thing. I did pay $585 for these. Uh, I paid 30 in shipping, and I paid about another 30 in taxes. So that comes up to somewhere around $645 all in. They did list 125 items. Of course, there's a couple sets of bits in here, so I'm going to guess that they counted every single bit. Uh, so I paid around $6 per item, and although some of it's definitely worth more than $6 per item, if they're counting every bit in a box, those are probably not worth $6 a piece. So let's see. Okay, first thing up we have here is a really nice uh, half-inch drive rail made by Snap-on, uh, where the sockets would mount and then twist lock on. Sizes are all listed from a quarter to one and one sixteenth, and uh, this is the part number. I've never had a rail like this before. It looks like it's magnetic, but uh, very well made, very nice rail. Moving on, we have two of these S4, I believe. Yeah, snap on S4, uh, half inch drive, uh, spinner ratchets, speed ratchets. Well, I guess they're not ratchets. Uh, spinner handles, uh, speed wrenches, whatever you want to call them. And I would say these look like they're brand new. All right, then we have a Snap-on HS18A, made in Sweden, and this is a metal cutting hacksaw. Uh, let's cover the air tools here. We have a Blue Point uh, 3 Ace air ratchet. There's the part number, if you can pick that up. Used, but looks to be in pretty good shape. No idea if they work, but I uh, guess we'll find out. We have a Mac. We have a Mac air drill. Uh, it's engraved with the previous owner's name. Here is your model number. And like I said, no idea if these air tools work. I assume they do, but I'll have to test them out. And then finally we have a snap-on air drill. Uh, there's the number on that one. Nice little keyless chuck on that one. Alright, moving on to a box of cookies that I think might be from Mexico. So we'll see what's in this one. And I'll be honest, this is by far the most expensive box of cookies I've ever bought. Alright, first up here we have a blue point. I believe they call these a spanner wrench. There's the part number for you. This one looks like it's brand new. And then we have a snap-on open end half inch 916. It looks like it's brand new. The only thing better than snap-on tools are new snap-on tools. So here's a 5 8 11 16 3 8 7 16 I have a couple of these Williams. Uh, now, Williams was not listed as one of the brands. The brands that were listed were uh, Snap-on, Mac, Matco, uh, Blue Point, I believe. Now, I know Williams is a, a Snap-on company. But uh, there's two of these. Ratcheting screwdrivers. We got a needle nose locking pliers made by Blue Point. Now, there is not a country on this. And I know that Blue Point tools made today, a lot of them are being outsourced. So there's a good chance this is made overseas. I see that it's marked CRV, which is also another giveaway of an overseas product. Here's another Blue Point. I can look these up online. And it'll say what country they originate from. But, eh, they're still new, so nice to have them. Here's a Blue Point file handle. This is a newer one. It's a GA98A. I have the old G898s that are wood handles. We have some loose sockets in here. We got a Snap-on FU8A. It's a 3 ace universal adapter. We've got a 21 millimeter half-inch drive shallow. That looks like it's brand new. 17 millimeter half inch drive shallow. Looks like it's brand new. We've got an 18 
half inch drive shallow, 15 half inch drive shallow. We've got a 13 half inch drive shallow. And then we bump down to three eighths. We have uh, 11 mil 12 point. Hope for a 10. Nope, there it is. 10 millimeter 12 point. And another 11 millimeter 12 point. And then we go down to quarter inch where we have this quarter inch uh, snap on, what is this, 5 sixteenths uh, swivel, quarter inch drive. It looks like it's brand new. Moving on with the quarter inch, we have an 8 millimeter, oh no, that's a 6 millimeter, 12 point. We've got a, another 6, 12. We've got an 8 millimeter, 12. We've got a 10 millimeter, 12. Thank goodness for a couple of 10s. And we have a 5 millimeter, 12 point. Now, I don't know if I said this before, but uh, it was not marked what uh, all came in this lot as far as specific part numbers or sizes. And then we have this rail, this short rail here. There's five of these uh, 3 8 deep sockets. These are SAE snap-on. I see a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 3 8 through 5 8 And then we have some punches here. These are snap-on. This is a, what does that say, 1 8 these are new. There's four of them. Here's a one quarter. What do we have here? Three sixteenths. And the last one here, we have a three eighths. That'll focus on there. There we go. So four new punches. Okay. And then we have these blue point YA8815 if I was a betting man I would say these are used for working on cylinder heads so you set the head down onto these and it holds it up in the air a little bit while you work on them all right next up is the hello beautiful box starting off with this red locking pliers made in Spain blue point okay Next up, we have this uh, blue point 12 foot tape measure. Looks pretty clean, hasn't been pulled out hundreds of times, although the uh, decal is a little messed up. We got a socket here. I'm going to guess this is for some sort of uh, axle nut, locking nut, uh, maybe a four wheel drive vehicle. I'll look it up to see for sure. There's the part number. And we have a snap ring pliers. Wow. That must be a pretty good size snap ring. Those are some big ends on there. It's a PRA 26. Let me try to get some of these screwdrivers out of here. I think these are all Matco. They're well, I mean, they're. Is it witty? Made in Germany? I don't think it's white guessing it's witty but I'm pretty sure this is a Matco screwdriver and the problem is is when they rebrand them they basically print their name on and you can't even tell who makes it at this point but I'm pretty confident this is a Matco screwdriver let's see if we can get some names on these other ones I know that's a good brand uh, I'm not talking about Matco I'm talking about the company that actually made them but uh Man, I don't even see where they have a part number on the... Oh, there it is. Very faint. Oh, yep. Yeah. Can you pick that up? Matco. And there's the part number. Let me see if I can find it on this first one here. Oh, yeah. There it is. Man, that's faint, but it's there. See, now this one's actually printed on the handle. I'm not sure if that's just a different year where they put them on the handles. And then we have a little flat tip. This one must be printed on the shank again. What's this here? We have a little Matco cutter. There's the part number. I'll have to look it up to see what that's for. I don't think it's uh, made to cut steel or tin. 
but I could be wrong. Here's a different looking tool. See what we got here, made in the USA. It's a Matco part. Obviously this is for a specific purpose. I would guess it's for taking apart some sort of electrical connector. That's a total guess. I could be totally wrong. And we got a couple of blue point, uh, I guess paint scrapers or some sort of scrapers. Oh, it's the same. These are marked uh, apply and spread and smooth adhesive putties and body dent fillers. So putty knives, I guess. They probably work well as a putty knife or a scraper. All right, we have two more screwdrivers here. We got a Mac flat tip stubby, very bright yellow handle. And then this is a snap on stubby Phillips. This one looks like it's brand new. I mean, maybe it's been sitting a while, but the handle has no wear to it. And then we're down to mostly sockets here. We have a feeler gauge, I think. That's a blue point. There's the part number. I don't know if this is like a gapper, like a spark plug gapper. And I've recently had one of these, and I don't remember what it's for. Here we have an adapter. It's a half inch to three eighths. This is a non-impact uh, industrial finish adapter by Snap-on. Got another set of feeler gauges by Blue Point. And we'll go through the crow feet next. We got a Snap-on seven, seven eighths. I think these are all gonna be Snap-on. This is a 10 millimeter, I believe. I think there's like a sticker over that, but I think that says 10 millimeter. And we have a 12 millimeter, a 14 millimeter, another 10 millimeter. Is that first one definitely a 10? Because that looks different than this one. Oh, I guess it is about the same. I swear the broaching is a hair different on this one. Maybe they're made in a different factory or a different year. Here we have a 14 millimeter. And this, what you see on there, that's like a sticky. I'm, I'm guessing these were stickered for sale or something. And then I think this is the last one here. This is a 17 mil. And let's look at the extensions next here. Whoops. Here we have a quarter inch. I think that's going to be a six inch extension by Snap-on. I think this is a three. Yep, Snap-on. Uh, Snap-on FX6. Last one here is going to be a quarter inch Snap-on. Uh, I think it's like a two, two inch uh, extension. Oh, no, there's another one here. It's FX8 Snap-on. And then we'll do the wrenches next here. We got a half inch uh, Snap-on. Does have a little tattoo on there, but uh, looks like it's in pretty good shape. We got a three ace. Not seeing a tattoo on that guy. Sorry for the shadows, guys, but these bright chrome tools uh, pick up all the reflections. We got another three ace here. Well, this is a six point though. And the last one here. I think that says 5 16ths, and this is uh, OXA100. So this is an offset head. I don't know if you can pick that up, going in the opposite direction. And that's also a six point. And this is not like a bad spot here. This is just gluey type sticker substance. All right, next we got this TM1. It's a 3 eighths to quarter inch uh, socket adapter, or I should say ratchet adapter. Well, I guess it's either. We got a metric socket here, a nine millimeter, snap on six point, three ace drive. We got a quarter inch, six point. So since everyone has this residue on it, I'm gonna guess maybe these were on a truck. Um, I, I mentioned early in the video that this might be like from an uh, independent tool dealer. I'm gonna guess these were on his truck. They all had stickers on and, 
he did miss the one on here that you saw earlier. And we have a 3 8 snap on 12 point, 3 8 deep. I think all these sockets left in here are going to be 3 8 We got a half inch, 6 point. Little scarred up, uh, 7 16 6 point. Uh, 5 16 12 point. We got a 9 16 6 point. We got a 5 8 6 point. This one's got a couple scars on it as well. It's 11 16 6 point. This one's got some of the stickers on that were rubbed off. And this is a 13 16 6 point. Okay, last three here we have a okay 10 millimeter 6 point. This one's got a couple scars just like uh, a few previous, so that must be owner's marks. Um, not sure why somebody wanted to do that to their uh, nice snap-on tools, but uh, hey, each to their own. 7 ace. And finally, we have another 7 ace. This is a 12 point, though. All right, this is what we have left. Let's start with these cases back here. Okay, first case is listed as a high-speed Thunderbit set, whatever that means. Sounds pretty special. I'm gonna guess it could charge a little bit extra for that. Ooh, now this one's empty, which is good. Um, that might sound funny, but uh, if that means they weren't counting bits as individual pieces, that means uh, I got more actual tools out of this lot. This is a Mac, obviously feeling pretty empty. It is pretty empty. Oh, got a couple broken ones down there. And this one feels like it's got a few things in it. It's a 11 piece metric hex key. And we're only missing the 9 millimeter. Assuming they're all snap on. Looks like they're all in pretty good shape. Missing the 9 shouldn't be too big of a deal. Case is in good shape. I wonder what the part number is on this set. Usually they put a part number on the box, but uh, not seen it on this one. I'm going to leave this mystery bag for last. I'm thinking there's something good in there. So next up, this is kind of interesting. Uh, it's made by Blue Point. I'm not seeing a part number. So it seems to be an inspection mirror. The interesting thing is that it's not actually made out of a mirror. It's just a shiny piece of metal, like a piece of chromed metal. Um, I guess they don't break that way. But it looks like a pretty cool tool. Then we have a few files here. I won't um, take them out of their strapping. I believe they're made by Baco. They look like they're fairly new. I won't call them brand new. This is marked Baco in Portugal. Now, if you buy uh, Snap-on files, many times they're marked Portugal on the file. So... Some people think that other countries don't make good tools, but I mean, if Snap-on trusts uh, their tools and Baco trusts their tools to be made in Portugal, I'm guessing they're pretty good quality. So next up we have this Blue Point uh, little grabber tool. And we have this uh, blow gun. So it is a Blue Point. It does have this end on it that looks like it's definitely for a specific purpose. Not sure what that is though. We've got a little air die grinder made by Mac. This is, looks like an older one. Not sure I'll be able to recover a part number on there. They left me a little die in there though, that's nice. Next up we have this Mac screwdriver, if it'll focus a little bit. Uh, this is a cabinet screwdriver, long shank. We got a little magnetic pickup tool. I'm gonna guess this is Blue Point or Mac. It is a Blue Point. And then we got a Blue Point um pliers is that ap12 so i guess this might be like the water pump pliers it has a little quick release here that allows you to lower the jaw very quickly and then just push it back up to where you need it nice pliers made in france uh, here we have a blue point ball peen it is a 16 ounce not too beat up and then last is the mystery bag which i think is just a set of sockets 
So I was just about to finish editing the video and I realized the footage of this last set got cut off. Now I placed it onto the rail that I showed, uh, I think this was the first item that I showed. As you can see it goes from half inch up to one and a quarter. And this set is obviously a snap-on. It is brand new. I mean maybe one or two are used but it's basically a brand new set. So this set on the truck that would go from 3 eighths to 1 and 1 eighth retails for $406. Obviously I don't have the 3 eighths and the 7 sixteenths but I do have uh, the two bigger sizes here. Those those sockets alone are 50 or 60 a piece. So if you take off these two sockets um, and add on the, the two bigger ones, this is around a $450 set of sockets on the truck. I'm not sure what I'd consider it worth used. So if you take this set alone out of the total that I paid, and even if you counted at $300, I would basically have $330 into all the other tools I've shown today. Unfortunately, I don't have a full pan of everything that I can show you at once because, um, you know, the footage is gone and the tools are scattered. But uh, that'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.